This video will show you how to do an advanced search in the database Scopus. I'm going to use an example research question to demonstrate how to do a search in Scopus. For this video, the example question is, what are the impacts of heat waves on ambulance services? When you're beginning your search, you need to plan out appropriate synonyms for each of the concepts in your research question. In this example question, the key topics are paramedics, heat waves and impact or service demand. So for each of the concepts, I've listed appropriate synonyms, words that mean the same, that can be uh, used to construct the search strategy. I could expand these further if I find that I'm not getting enough results. So for example, um, I might expand the term paramedic to include emergency medical technicians, which is a way um, that paramedicine is described in uh, the United States. So you can increase the number of synonyms required, but for the purpose of this video, I'll demonstrate with these terms. When you're searching in Scopus, you'll be searching using the Documents tab. That means you're searching um, academic articles, book chapters and so on. The Authors tab is used if you're looking for a specific author. For example, you know someone who's conducted research in the topic area that you're interested in. This researcher discovery is a feature that's designed to connect researchers around the globe, so perhaps not um, relevant for this particular video. And affiliations is if you decide to search by a particular organisation. Um, most often students will be searching in the documents tab. When you're searching Scopus, it's a good idea to begin very broad and begin with the title, abstract and keyword um, selected in the menu, which is its default. You add your first line into the search box and then you need to create your second part of your search so to do that you click the add search field button and it appears below you can then enter the second line of your search then add the uh, click the button again and a new box will appear and you can enter the third line of your search you keep the drop down menu in between as and because you want to combine each of your main concepts into one search. When you have entered all of your search terms, you can click the search button on the right hand side and the database will run your search. So you can see this has found 253 documents, which is quite a large number. It may be that you need to make some adjustments to your search in order to make the number of results more manageable. One of the options you can try if you're retrieving too many results is to change this uh, option for the, the um, keyword that is most important in your search. So for example, you could change this to search um, your first concept in article title only rather than the abstract and keywords and that should reduce the number of results. So if I now choose search, I would expect the number to go down and you'll see it's now only 75 papers. So this is a more manageable number to work with. So that is one option available to you. Another option is to use the filters that are on the left hand side of the screen to limit. So for example, you can limit by date, select your dates and then use the arrow option and that will limit it further so there are now 61 and you can also limit by subject area or um, type of document so that means an article a conference a paper a book chapter for example you can restrict by a specific journal if you know there's a key one in your field you can also use some of the keyword filters to explore the results, or you can try to use the country filter. In my experience, the country filter is highly inaccurate, so it's probably not the best option to choose um, because sometimes when you select it, it will rule out relevant papers. I am not sure why. If I now explore some of the 61 documents found, I might 
be interested in papers that relate to the UK or other countries that are close by, um, particularly as this is sort of a question around heat waves and climate change. So this paper may be of interest as it's focusing on Germany. I could scroll further and see if there are other relevant papers. This one is about temperature and ambulance dispatch. It's a systematic review, so it's likely to include lots of papers. So if I want to uh, read the abstract to check its relevance, I can click on the show abstract option and I can read and decide if it is relevant to my topic. You'll notice that some of the terms are highlighted and these are the ones that the database is showing you um, relate to the search terms that you entered. So as you'll notice, the term temperature has not been highlighted. So that might be one worth adding into the search strategy if I'm not getting many results. If I'd like to access the paper, I click find a copy And you'll notice that this one has taken us to a message that says place in an interlibrary loan. That means that the library does not have a subscription to this particular journal. It doesn't mean you can't access it. It just means you need to click on this link to place an interlibrary loan request. Um, read through the terms and conditions. If you're happy, click yes. You can then place the request and it usually arrives within 48 hours to your um, email address that's associated with your student account. So there's no charge for that service. So please do order into library loans if you need to. If you want to try to locate papers that are UK specific, um, you can edit your search by adding another search field and then entering terms that relate to the UK or perhaps even um, Europe or European papers. So add in your terms and then select search and the search will be conducted again. And now it has listed seven papers. So uh, extreme weather events in England, um, differential help, health responses in three UK cities. So um, impact of extreme temperatures on ambulance dispatches in London. So perhaps you want to access this paper again, select find a copy. And it has taken us to Science Direct, which is where the particular paper um, lives within environmental research. If you want to download the paper, you would click View PDF. And then you can use the download button to save it to your computer. If you want to create an advanced search where you break your um, concept down into smaller parts, run that part of the search and then combine it with the other concepts later, you can do that in Scopus. So you can use the drop down menu to say and, but you can also use it to say or. So you can add different parts of your search, for the first concept into each of the boxes. If you need to expand, you just click add search field and would change this to or. This can be useful because it might be that some of the terms you want to search in title, abstract and keyword and some perhaps you want to search title only. So extreme temperature might be too broad a concept to have it in all the fields. So if I wanted to change this to article title, I would just select the drop down menu and choose article title. And then I can run this part of the search. Once I have that, I have 462,000 documents. If I then return to search, I can then search for the second part of my um, concept, my second concept, so for example, paramedics or ambulance staff. And so you'll see I have already run uh, that uh, part of the search here, and then I've run the third part of the search here. So you run each individual search and then you need to combine them together. So to do that, select the boxes on the left hand side and then choose combine queries. This box now appears and we want to combine three concepts together. So we do that with and. So it's five and nine and 14. Click show results and then those three concepts will be combined and it's located six documents.
If you view an individual document, it can be helpful to look at the cited by column on the right to see who has cited it more recently and also look at the related documents underneath because they are on a similar theme and often um, similar uh, geographic area to the record that you are viewing. We've now come to the end of the video on advanced searching in Scopus. Be sure to view the Library Skill Up module for further help with searching.